Welcome to Clever You. Today we embark on a new mission with Men in Black releasing. We decided to give you guys a little background on the Men in Black from the Girl in Black. Ready? Let's get started. The Men in Black have been associated with aliens since way back in the 1940s when the first modern UFO sightings began. Increased reports of strange men wearing black suits grew throughout the 1950s and 60s. Most believe these men to be members of the secret government agency sent to thwart the existence of aliens, while others believe these men in black could in fact be aliens themselves. Hey, you in the back, stop texting. The Men in Black, as we've grown to love, started off as a comic book series created and written by Lowell Cunningham, first published in 1990. These Men in Black not only took on aliens, but also dealt with baddies like demons and mutants. They took their jobs seriously and weren't above killing to keep their secrets from the populace. The top secret government agency responsible for monitoring and policing paranormal life forms on Earth got a bit of a facelift when it hit movie screens in 1997. They traded in lethal force for their patented Neuralizer, a pen-sized device that wipes the memories of those that encounter either them as aliens, and is also used to wipe the memories of former agents when they retire. Man, I wish I had that pet in college. The Neuralizer has become so popular, it was ranked number four on a list of film inventions that people wish were real. So, who are these men in black? Well, Agent K, played by Tommy Lee Jones, is a veteran of the agency. Little is known about his early life, but has been with the agency since his 20s. His real name is Kevin Brown, and he grew up the son of a drill sergeant. After his partner retires, Kay recruits a young NYPD officer named James Durrell Edwards III to not only take the place as his new partner, but also be Kay's replacement. The new partner is found in Agent J, played by Will Smith. Jay brings a youthful, energetic, and even unorthodox approach to the Men in Black organization. After Kay retires, Jay has trouble training a new partner and eventually recruits Kay back to the MIB to take down the aliens and restore peace to the universe. In the third installment of the franchise, Jay must travel back in time to save a young Kay, played by Josh Brolin, from being murdered. His journey will lead him to unknown secrets of the universe that could be the key to saving him and the future of mankind. So, there you guys have it. Everything you need to know about the Men in Black. I hope you are paying attention. Your homework assignment is to go see Men in Black 3 and report your findings below in the comment section. Until next time, I'm Professor Carrier, and we'll see you next time in class.